Now I'm choking, 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 and suddenly I hear, and I go, what's going on? And you hear me go, I go you see me talk to him, he say, dude, are you okay? And I look at him, and his eyes are open, his mouth is open, there's bubbles of blood coming out of his mouth, and he's this sort of, I go, and that's when I go, shoot, I killed the guy. Boom, on my way to the airport. I'm gonna go to Miami and I'm gonna visit Guga from Guga Foods. We're gonna cook together my original gluten breakfast recipe. Wow, the look legend. Oh, look at you, dude. Wow, what an honor to have you in my house. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you for having me. Of course, are yeah. you kidding me? Yeah, well. When I heard that you were gonna come by, just light up my day. Wow, this is very nice, brother. Come on in, let me show you around. All right. <laughs> Everybody, get out. So this is our main studio area where we make all of our videos. It's nice when you have an indoor and outdoor setup because sometimes it gets real hot in Miami, hot and sticky. Yeah. And I know you're in Texas now, right? Yeah, yeah, also hot. And sticky. And sticky. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So by the way, you got you some, some, oh, some goodies. Oh, I heard about these uh, ham is inside here, right? Croqueta. Oh, croqueta. croqueta. Delicious. I love it. I know you're a, a trained French chef, yeah. so I got you some French pastry, mm, <laughs> just in mm, case. Mm, mm. Merci bien, merci bien. I like the weapons on the wall for when something goes down. That's exactly the reason why, and nobody really knows. That's the background of it. I Never use super sharp? Uh, yeah. They're, they're, <laughs> they're ready to go, baby. Yeah, we don't play around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, I know. <laughs> so, okay, let me show you more around. Come on in. Oh, now you're talking. This is ha, beautiful. Absolutely. You got to have a gym because you know where the stakes go. You know what I'm saying? hundred uh, percent. And it's a freaking do man's with gym. It. A man's gym. I yes. I like how you said that. Because no, very little cardio machine. You know when you go to gym, sometimes it's just like all cardio machine yes. and no weight. You know the best way to lose weight, they say, is actually power trading. Oh. It's, not, it's, not, it's not running, not it's stamina. It's not the cardio It's just water. It's just water what you... But burning uh, with heavy weights, that's the fastest way to lose fat. <laughs> but yeah, this is the gym. Let me show you the cooking stuff. I know Ooh, you like to cook. Yeah, I love to let's cook. Go, let's go check out the barbecues, because that's, that's, that's my jam. <laughs> All right, the back alley, where the real stuff happens. Okay. Right? How about this one? Ooh. Huh? Yeah. Shout out to my brother, Jeremy. Where's the thing that you go? I know, right? Like the old fashioned style, real smoker. I absolutely love it, as you can see. Yeah. We're using wood. Forget electricity, oh. forget gas, the real deal. But yeah, that's it. What a setup, my friend. That's what we got. So I we gotta do some grocery shopping, I guess. What, 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 what are you gonna make today? I'm gonna make you the root and breakfast. This Ooh. is a breakfast that my, uh, my dad used to do for us. I still, till this day, do it on Sundays. Uh -huh. uh, we get fillets for, uh, for, for the ladies in my house because I have all ladies. You, I'll take a ribeye, a big ribeye. You rib have fillet for breakfast. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, you're my friend. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yes, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah, 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 hundred <laughs> percent. And what we do then, we bake it really nice. Then, then I leave the butter in there. I cook, uh, put some uh, garlic in there. Start adding wine and herbs. In the meanwhile, I put a baguette, like a French baguette, in the oven. Uh -huh. And then after, when we're done, we eat that. And the the sauce, that wine sauce that we have now, which by the way has no alcohol, so it's good for kids. You can use it as well. You dip the bread in there, Oof. and then you eat it and. I'm telling you, you're gonna love this. That sounds delicious. Yeah, and then I want to make a sabayon. Mm. It's my favorite dessert, actually. Yeah, I'm right? excited. Yeah. So can we stop talking and let's start I cooking? Start cooking and eating. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go. <laughs> Baz, you must have some crazy stories, some fighting stories when you were. What's the craziest one you would say that most people don't know? Um, How about the one that I saw that you, you, you choked him out and, and he was out cold and I saw it on your face and I was like, oh, he looks like you thought he'd kill I the guy. I thought I killed the guy, yeah. How did that feel? So that was very scary because what happened was this guy just fought against Ken Shamrock for 30 minutes and Ken couldn't get him in a submission. I'm a minute and a half in mm. and I catch him and I go, there's no way. There's no way. This guy's so good, right? Right. And I, it's a side choke. It's a head and arm. And I'm and they're screaming, my God, pull, pull. And I was super strong. I did 9-1 on pull-ups at the time. I was like really strong. Shit. <laughs> and, uh, and I'm choking, choking, choking. And suddenly I hear, <laughs> and I go, what's going on? And you hear me go, I go, you see me talk to him. He say, dude, are you okay? And I look at him and his eyes are open. 
his mouth is open, there's bubbles of blood coming out of his mouth, and he's uh, this sort of, uh, I go, and that's when I let go, and I go, shoot, I killed the guy. So, so, the, the, so the referee never really stopped, then. He never was, really it was stopped. you. And if you, if you, holy moly! And if you see the fight, yeah, I saw he, it last night. <laughs> yeah, so he, he's out literally in five seconds. He's out, and I'm for twenty seconds because you see his arm suddenly drop. That's when he's out. But I didn't realize that, so I just kept going. You and kept super, squeezing. Yeah, that was freaky. You could see it in your face. Oh, now yeah. you were worried. Yeah, I was really worried. There's a, like this mutual respect all a the time. A lot of respect. And these guys all hang out with each other afterwards. You know, we go party, we go drink, we have a lot of fun. It's a, it's a cool thing. That's what community. I love about the sport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody respect. You know, uh, sometimes they want to promote the fight. They talk a lot of shit. Yeah. But then after, it's all... Yeah, and if that's the case, and if he says to me before, he says, hey, boss, I'm going to talk a lot of crap. So, you know, it's nothing personal. I'm okay with it. Mm. But sometimes these guys go, they say something bad about you. It's not involved with family members. I go, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to knock you out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to take you out. <laughs> I had it with the guy. He was also and you don't want like, Bass to say that. That's the problem. Oh, I went for his liver. I broke his liver, the guy. He was beating I blood. remember that fight. Yeah, that was, I go, but he was not a nice guy. Uh, <laughs> so fuck that guy. That's it. <laughs> we got to do what we got to do, buddy. Exactly. All right, let's go get some groceries. Yes. Let's get some ingredients. Yes, yes. What are we looking for first, Bass? Two bottles of wine, like a buttery see. kind of wine. It's actually the, the one that I really like. The name is butter. You say you like cilantro, right? Cilantro, yes. Mm, let's go right here. Cilantro. How many? Just one, one is one good? Is enough. Yeah, it's a it's little tiny nice one. We... one that is nice and green. That yeah. looks good. All that right. goes in. Boom. Good. Where's the wine here? Probably there in the Wine, back. there. So, let's yeah, go yeah, straight this to... way, oh. and then we'll make a left. Let me see. Coppola is normally a good one. Butter. Look at this. Is it, is it, was this meant for a reason? Crazy, right? I love it. Oh, there you go. There you go. Is that the one? That's the one. So Voila. Make the red wine sauce. That is the one. Beautiful. Is that it? And we got all of our okay, ingredients? We got it. We're going to get that bread. We pick it up. We let somebody else pick it up. Yeah, we're going to get, we're going to get a new good bread. Bread support. That's it. That's but it. You can't have the, you can't come to Miami and have shitty bread. No, and especially if you do it with a freaking uh, really nice steak. You're yeah. You're going to uh, spend all the money on the steak. You didn't have money for bread. Bread is good. <laughs> I know, right? That's not good. I cannot wait to taste your food, my oh, brother. Oh, same here. Same I know here, you're so a happy. lean, mean uh, fighting machine, but now I want to see a lean, mean cooking machine too. Some, uh, that's for me always a must with a the car. They need to have the air pants. Yeah, I know. It makes uh, a huge difference. Oh, such a, especially if you're coming from a workout. I go, okay. You work out every day? I do. I Every do day, never miss. Well, like today, for instance, I didn't have time. We came, we got up pretty early. So what I do every day is I use my O2 trainer. It's an uh, invention that I had. It works out. Ultra trainer. Awesome. Ultra trainer. Ultra trainer. Yeah. Uh huh. What um, does it do? It. Um, so you believe that your lungs are doing the work for you, right? But mm. well, your lungs are too back. There's no muscle in the lung. It's your diaphragm. That's your biggest mover for inhaling. And then you have the intercostal muscles, which are the muscles in between your ribs. Your external intercostal muscles. Those make your chest wider. This thing works out those muscles. So you not only make your breathing muscles stronger, you start also breathing the correct way, which can give you up to five times more oxygen. Wow, that sounds fantastic. It's crazy, you love it. And and to get more stamina on everything is always good. You know, you got more energy and things like that. 100%. Talking about more energy, do you have any tips for when you wake up in the morning and you don't want to work out? What? I wake up in the morning, I start with prayers and meditation. How long do you do the meditation? Sorry to cut you, how long? It's about 45 minutes. What does the meditation consist of? It's visualizing. Bre or visualizing? Visualizing situations that normally would really piss me off or something like that. Yeah. So I go over it so that it, when it presents itself, that I can deal with it better because I'm a hothead, you know? Mm. And that really changed. What, like, what do you do? Start two or three Just minutes. Just close your eyes? Close your eyes, sit down, focus on your breathing. So while I'm that breathing, I'm just focusing on situations that might happen, you know, a situation that I normally won't like. And, and how I would deal with that particular situation. Yeah, meditation, I've heard so many wonderful things about it and it's something I really need to get into. All right, All right let's get cooking. Let's get do it. So how do you like to cook your steaks? You put a sear first and then you put it in the oven to finish it off or you do the opposite? How do you normally do it? Uh, normally with sticks like this, you yeah. know, that thick, it's gonna meet the, uh, it's gonna need a little bit of a time. So we put a sear first and then finish in the oven. Uh, yeah, we can do that. And then I use the and then I use the butter. We do use a little bit more butter for the searing, so then we can use that to finish my sauce with later on. Got it. Okay, let's do it. Can I put a so there's a yeah, trick? Yeah. We put a little bit of oil. I that do, way it doesn't burn. Yeah, and you know what? I, I use this for uh, for uh, fry my potatoes. 
mm. into the butter and the oil, and then yeah. you get really crispy potatoes baked in the pan. Oh, wonderful. I love that also, yeah. My buddy Pierre told me that a long time ago. And he was, of course, a, a French chef. Of course. Pierre, the level, je vais with the moustache. You speak French? No. No? No. I do not. Parlez-vous <laughs> français? That's what you mean, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't even French? know what you just said. That means, do you speak French? Oh, okay. Parlez-vous <laughs> français? What's your favorite steak, boss? A uh, uh, ribeye. I think it's more an emotional attachment that I have. It's because my dad always used to do it with filet. The filet, yeah. And then you do it. Uh... There's nothing wrong with a filet. Oh, no, it's great. It smells amazing already. It's already, man. It's just, uh, and, and it's the simple pepper and salt. Well, you Sal have pimenta. good quality meat, you know. Sal and pimenta, you speak Spanish? A little bit. Oh. Yeah, but, uh, el guapo, eh? Ah, el guapo. Buena suerte, it is fruto de las fiestas. God's oh, favorite party on. Oh, look at yeah, you. Look at me. I'm amazing. Turn it off for now. Uh, no, it's already off. It's oh, been it's already off. off? Oh, yeah, okay. the pan well, is hot. Then we're going to have to do this. Yeah, right we have away. to do yeah, it right away. Over. That's going to burn. There you go. Voila. Uh, deglaze the pan and take all that goodness out. Oh, yeah. It smells so good. Oh, this is going to... Yeah. Mm, really good. <laughs> and I'm going to add a little bit more salt in a bit. Yeah, you're going to taste That's it. That's how you know it's good. Oh. I said, anyway. Ooh, it's a good brand. Oh, I can't see it off, yeah. It smells amazing. Now we eat. All right. Bas, this looks phenomenal. Thank you. You're very welcome. I've never had anything like this. I'm excited. What should, what, what should we try first? Dip your bread in. Dip your bread in. Bread out. Okay. See if you... A big dip. Just that and just eat it straight Smells amazing. There. Cheers, brother. Cheers. You. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Oh. I'm telling you. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Mm. That's so good. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not sweet, it's just like nice and savory with the bread, and the bread is super crunchy. Yeah. Wow, that's phenomenal. The garlic, the wine, it has that little heavy. So easy taste. to make. That's what I mean. Yeah, phenomenal. Mm. Yep. Delicious. Sunday morning, when we come out of church, that's our breakfast. This is literally breakfast? This is our breakfast, yeah. Wow. You guys have good breakfast. Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to pair it up with the steak. Mm -hmm. Nice, medium rare, just the way I like it. Very nice. Mm. Oh, hell. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow. What is Bass's favorite food? Mm. I would say Italian food. I'm a big Italian guy. But I like Thai food as well. Mm. Yeah. Yours? What's yours? Steak, of course. But, but you know, if you have to go to a restaurant, what kind of restaurant? It's Italian, French. Brazilian. Brazilian? Mm -hmm. I'm from Brazil. It's from my roots. And what you grow up eating yep. is just, you know, something you miss all the time. And um, yeah, that's what I like. That's what I love. This is mind blowing. It's crazy, right? Because it's so easy to make. Yep. And dipping here on a nice cold day, mm -hmm. forget about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, what are we going to do? So for these people at home, you remember you just saw the steak, right? Super simple. It's garlic, it's wine, it's a little bit of water. That's pretty much it. You season your steak the way ever you want it, you know, and then you bring that red wine, you, you put whatever herb you like in it. Uh, normally, I like it to use a little bit of a bouillon paste, although it has the MSG in there, but it, it gives it. It's but there's nothing wrong with MSG. Yeah, there's not, nothing wrong. Not, it's just not too much, or what? <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, MSG is totally fine. A lot of people have the misconception that MSG is terrible for you. That's a long time ago, and oh. there's a lot of myth. But there's nothing wrong with MSG. Oh. You know, MSG occurs naturally in many different types of foods, such as tomatoes, Parmigiano Reggiano has MSG naturally, Kambu has MSG. So. Totally fine. Look at this guy. Yeah. I love it. I love MSG. Nice. I love <laughs> MSG too now. <laughs> so this is what we normally do, right? Okay. Yeah. But here, what I normally do, I just do this. Have, yeah. you, have you heard about the garlic trick? Put, put the whole egg on your hand. The whole thing. Even the egg yolk. Let's see. Let's see. We're going to try this in real time. Okay. So what happens is, you know, it starts getting sticky. Yeah. Your fingers, supposedly, you can... Because That's some bullshit. That's, That's what it is. That don't work, okay? <laughs> You're supposed to pinch it and go like that. 
That don't work, you boss. See? I do it without the garlic. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that's the right way. That's the right way. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to need your help in a little bit. You're going to pour you this tell in. Me. Sure. Little by little? Little, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll tell you. Just go throw it in. Okay, I think this is about... And look how creamy this is now. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Should have done that. Okay, now... Ooh. You want to freak out now? No, taste that. Voila, here's a knife for you too. Let's taste it together. Not a knife, a spoon. Spoon! Cheers, brother. Thank Cheer. you. Ding. Ding. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> this is crazy, right? Wow. Every time. That's so good. <laughs> yeah, every that time should be illegal. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I love that it's fat free, calorie free, everything. Oh, free. healthy for you. <laughs> All day long you can eat this. <laughs> so good. We need to put a warning out below the video now. <laughs> we're joking. Yeah, we're just kidding, by the way. <laughs> that See? is amazing. Simple, easy to make, delicious. That's it. People delicious. think you make this in a restaurant, they're going to go, what is that? Wow. Mm.